the next step in the QFT process then is to do this. Your next step would be different types of questions that you might have generated. In my district, we do not use these two words, but in the QFT process, they call it open and closed. The reason why they call it open and closed is because those closed ones might be answered with a yes or no, or like a one word. <coughs> Whereas the open-ended ones would be more of requiring an explanation for it, and one that cannot necessarily just be answered in one way, okay? Now, the reason why we don't use open and close is for this reason. We use 95% for our multi-syllable type words, our phonics types of things, and we use open and close in that setting. And so we felt as though it was going to be too confusing for kids to have those two different words mean two different things. So in my district, we've always used, we've always called them thick and thin questions. Like a thin question would be right there in the text. And the thick question would be more that inferential research type of question. It's the same thing called two different things. All right? So whatever your district uses as their language or their common language, that's what I would use for that. So then what would happen is you would have students go back and look at their questions again and decide, are there right there type of questions, thin questions? Are they thick questions? What type are they? And they can sort them in that way. You could even have kids go back and change one to the other. It really helps them start to be able to see higher level questions versus lower level questions in that way. Now, I will also say, this is my opinion, but I do not think that one is more important than the other. And this is why I say that. is because if you don't have any factual knowledge of anything, a right there question or a factual type of question, you know nothing about a topic, you can't ask those thick questions then because you don't know enough about what you know and what you don't know, right? So there needs to be a balance of both. So I don't necessarily think that we can say that, oh, we just want them to really start creating all these great thick questions. We want them to have a balance of both of them and be able to know how to research for both types of questions in that way, okay? So that would be the next step in the process of QFT.